Tonight, just two major Republicans are vying for their party's presidential nomination after Florida Governor Ron DeSantis suspended his campaign on Sunday. Some major news over the weekend, and even though a Georgia primary is in March, Republicans here are shifting their focus to November. 11 Lives Break, Grace King explains. The momentum is clearly with President Trump. In the eyes of Georgia Republican Party Chairman Josh McCoon, the presidential primary season is over. People will have options on the March 12th ballot, but my expectation would be if this goes the way it appears to be going, that President Trump will probably get most votes if he's the only candidate that is still actively campaigning. On Sunday, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis suspended his campaign, throwing his support behind former President Donald Trump, Former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley is the only other candidate remaining. It looks like Republicans all over the country and here in Georgia are beginning to unite behind President Trump. With Governor DeSantis out, more Georgia Republicans are weighing in, with at least 14 state senators and the Commissioner of Agriculture endorsing former President Trump on Monday. What we're seeing most immediately in Georgia is Georgia elected officials beginning to fall in line behind President Trump. Republican analyst Brian Robinson says Georgia Republicans might have voted differently if the race still had more candidates. I base that on the fact that in 2022, Georgia Republican voters pushed back on Trump a little bit. Instead, he expects them to back Trump long before Georgia polls open. Everyone's kind of going back to form and Trump is the leader of the party. And even though Georgia Republicans have had their differences with Trump in the past, they're going to get in line and be uh, loyal soldiers here in the 24 cycle. Loyal soldiers starting now on their campaign for November. We can begin to strategize around what we know is going to be at the top of the ticket. The Republicans have got to hope for a big Trump turnout. Democrats have got to hope for a good showing by Biden.